going on guys my name is judad the reporting for kids first and today we're going to be talking about the immaculate top gun maverick after years of delays top gun maverick finally flies onto our screens better than ever better than ever as in possibly greater than its predecessor in 1986 as a movie that relies naturally on the technological advancements behind the aircrafts used in the film, of course you can assume that the Top Gun series add-on progresses to new, literal, and figurative heights in its highly anticipated sequel. The film perfectly evokes a sense of nostalgia without getting distracted by the past. In addition, it gives us a lot to look for on the runway ahead. Tom Cruise promised if he ever made a Top Gun sequel, the flying of the F-A-18 aircrafts would be completely real. The F-A-18 aircrafts are the primary aircraft used in the film. Mr. Cruise completely delivered on that promise to new boundaries the viewers are not ready for. Following the events of Top Gun in 1986, Top Gun Maverick picks up with the iconic characters 36 years down the line. The story starts with Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell, played by Tom Cruise, as his career flying planes has slowed down. He no longer works for the Top Gun Academy and helps a local Navy facility test advanced aircrafts. When his charisma impedes his judgment, like always, Maverick destroys a highly expensive government aircraft. Soon after, Maverick is given an ultimatum. He can either be grounded by the Navy and never fly again, or he can go back to the Top Gun Academy and teach a group of young pilots how to complete a highly dangerous mission. Later, he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with his greatest challenge yet, providing closure to the son of his deceased best friend, Goose. In present-day Hollywood, every film is trying to perfect the art of CGI and make it look as real as it could be. The beauty behind Top Gun Maverick is the actual lack of CGI itself. The film doesn't need to look real because it already is real. Tom Cruise is known for completing his own stunts and 100% upped his game by having the entire cast do theirs as well. Every actor playing a pilot went through months of diligent training, mastering the ins and outs of flying F-A-18 aircrafts. The amount of effort provided by the actors to master aviation for the film is quite possibly unlike anything any actor has done before. With a film that consistently performs death-defying stunts, it can be inferred that Top Gun Maverick is incredibly intense. To add on to the layer of intensity, the film often engages with long action sequences involving lots of cursing and heavy violence. Comedic relief often pops up at random times to lighten the mood, which creates a nice blend of thrills and humor. Since a large part of the story is about Maverick's relationship with the son of his deceased best friend Goose, a theme of closure is prominent throughout the film. The film also provides the moral that relationships can be repaired no matter the wall between them. Top Gun Maverick soars past all expectations, really redefining the definition of stunts in present day Hollywood. I give Top Gun Maverick 4.5 out of 5 stars and I recommend it for ages 10 to 18 plus adults. You can find Top Gun Maverick flying onto your local theater on May 27th, 2022. So make sure to buckle up for a crazy wild plane ride. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jude Adler. Please make sure to subscribe right down there so you don't miss any of mine or my teammates' next videos. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.